Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We'll share about three common mistakes people make when replacing car battery on modern vehicle that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Let's explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Quick videos for any of you, especially guys having German vehicles and you wonder why the battery is in the trunk. Okay, you open the hood, you try to find it, it's not there and all of a sudden you Google, you find it that it's located in the trunk, especially quite a few BMWs have that, some Mercedes, Porsche vehicles as well guys, Porsche Cayenne on our Cayenne, it's under the driver's seat. We'll explain why, you will be surprised and we'll talk about three common mistakes people make when replacing car battery on modern vehicles that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. All that will be covered for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. We have more than 17,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. We take almost every car apart that we get here at the garage. We make at least two to 300 free repair videos on it. We work on transmissions, engines, fuses, relays, codes, almost anything you can think of. And if you guys need to buy parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll share the information in the video for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So, guys, I want to show you here something. We have that BMW, right? But we have other BMWs vehicles here quite often we work on. Uh, even Dodge nowadays, guys. Dodge, uh, Challenger, Charger, they started doing the same thing. Like this one that we have right here. The car battery is actually in the trunk. Okay, in some cases, let's open this one, guys, here. And I want to show you. Check this thing out, guys. The battery is where the spare tire is supposed to be. On other BMW models or on the Dodge will be on the right side under that cover. So, okay, because they still have spare tire. But why is that battery here? Even on Porsche Cayenne, you have one in the trunk and sometimes uh, under the seat as well. You may have up to two batteries. But why they started putting the batteries in the trunk on cars? And we'll explain three mistakes people make when replacing them. So, guys. If you have that car battery in the engine bay, every time you run the car, imagine that in the summer, you know, when you open the hood, okay, a heat wave hits you. It gets so hot under the hood. It's like almost probably close to 80, 90 degrees, guys, there, Celsius. It's amazingly hot. It's like 180, 190 Fahrenheit. And uh, heat kills batteries. Cold does as well, but heat kills them, guys. Another thing, when it's in the engine bay, you have constant vibrations from the engine because it's really close to the engine. Those vibrations will be transferred to the battery. When the batteries vibrate, the plates inside, okay, could get disconnected and the battery quits working. So vibrations is another thing. That's why they started putting them, heat vibrations. Number three, quite important, guys, weight distribution. The battery is quite heavy. And being in the trunk, especially on a rear wheel drive car and most cars, uh, the lightest part of the car is the rear, right? Because on the front, you have that, let me show you that humongous transmission and engine. I wanna show you here, guys. And all that weights quite a bit. That's in, in the car right there. You can see, okay, let me show you how, how big that engine, how big that transmission is, guys. That's quite heavy, right? To offset that balance, imagine if you add the battery, okay, and that battery, I don't know what is like 70, 80 pounds battery, okay, and all of a sudden, guys, you put it in the engine bay, the car becomes quite unstable. So, what they did, they put in the trunk for weight distribution, which is amazing thing. But three mistakes people make when replacing battery on modern cars. You always need to check your manual, but most of the times you need to get an AGM battery. Okay, AGM battery guys, especially for the automatic start and stop, stop and go functions, the one that turns on and off the traffic lights, you need that battery because it supplies steady current. Now, these newer vehicles have guys up to 50 different computers called modules that communicate with each other. And when the battery is not stable, you can see all kind of warnings problems, errors, faults, engine lights, drivetrain malfunctions, transmission problems, transmission shifting hard because of a weak or the wrong kind of battery. Now, that's the one mistake. Number two, guys, when disconnecting the battery or to replace it, it's very important to know which battery terminal to disconnect first and which battery terminal to connect first. If you do it the wrong way, what can happen, guys, 
Okay, you can burn modules, computers for thousands of dollars. How we know about that? We burn a module on a Mercedes ABS traction control module that cost us thousands of dollars to replace back in the day, guys. So we need to know which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first. And number three, quite a few modern vehicles after replacing the battery, even if it's the same size, even if it's exactly the same battery, you need to program it. Call, uh, it's also called to register the car battery. You get in the car computer, you program it, you put the date, you install it, the mileage, uh, how many miles, kilometers the car has, uh, the size of the battery, the capacity, all that stuff. So the, because they have um, quite smart charging systems nowadays. And if you don't program it, the charging system may think that you still have the old battery or try to put more current to it. And as a result, you may start overcharging the new battery and that can result into shortening the lifespan of the battery. But that's why the battery is in the trunk on quite a few cars. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.